Hi, I'm Mike with Superior Tech. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the features and benefits of our 10 cubic foot in-bed spreader, the largest in our complete line of gator spreaders. Compatible with John Deere full-size crossover XUVs and work series gators, this spreader is ideal if you're searching for greater capacity to spread materials like rock salt and calcium chloride over longer periods of time. Even better, partnering this spreader with your gator provides you with fast and adaptable spreading regardless of conditions. Let's take a look at how this spreader's unique controls and design integrate with your gator to help boost your productivity. First, let's take a look at the controls that you'll be using to operate the spreader. The monitor that you see here is exclusive to this line of spreaders. In other words, you won't be able to find this on any other spreader brand in the marketplace. In fact, the software that's programmed on it was actually developed entirely in-house by our team of engineers to ensure that spreader operation is simple yet intuitive for you. So what we have here is a sleek three and a half inch color display that's mounted right onto the Gator's dash. This is a metal bracket that utilizes two M6 button head screws into holes that already exist on the vehicle. So in other words, there's no drilling required whenever you go to mount this. Four push buttons are used to navigate the monitor screens. Within the menus, you'll be able to turn the spreader on and off, independently adjust the speed of the spinner and the auger, select a mode for the vibratory motor, and even access diagnostic information. Some additional features that we programmed include an unload mode to completely empty the hopper and incorporating reverse on the auger to easily clear jammed material. Another benefit is the wiring between these controls and your gator. After initial installation, routine hookup is easy as the vehicle's pre-installed wiring components are utilized for faster hookup. Now in terms of the spreader's construction, what we have here is a very robust solution. We have the single piece black poly hopper, and below that, and what it's mounted to, is a black powder coated steel frame for maximum durability. Another component to point out are these two stainless steel tie down rods. We elected to use this rigid mounting style and utilize the tie down hooks in the cargo box to make sure that the spreader always remains secured to your gator. Using stainless steel hardware for these components helps to resist corrosion and therefore ensures that installation and removal will remain hassle free. With the tarp off, the first component that you'll notice here is the top screen. This powder coated screen is made from 5 16 inch steel rod and helps prevent clump material from entering the hopper. At the bottom of the hopper, you'll see the auger, which is mounted horizontally. This auger is made from steel, has a three inch diameter, and is powered by a weather-tight direct drive motor. Above the auger, you'll notice the steel V-shaped baffle. This baffle's purpose is to keep material weight off the auger, but also improve material flow. Additionally, this baffle is directly connected to the vibratory motor that you see here to eliminate bridge material more effectively. So while we're on the topic, this 12 volt vibrator is controlled through the monitor and features four selectable modes, low, high, pulse, and ramp. As material exits the hopper, it drops onto this 12 inch metal spinner that can throw it up to 30 feet wide. I'd like to quickly call your attention to some of the shielding that you see here as it's really there to help protect your investment. For example, we have this metal grate on top as well as metal around the sides of the spinner, and that's to protect it in the event that you accidentally back into something. A great feature with this spinner assembly is the fact that it can be disconnected from the back of the spreader in just seconds. To remove it, simply unplug the power cord, pull the safety pin, and then slide out the rod. By disconnecting this assembly, you have access to the gator's hitch if you're leaving it in the bed, but you also have the ability to minimize the spreader's footprint for storage. If you want to learn more about the 10 cubic foot in-bed spreader or see a complete list of compatible John Deere gators, be sure to check out the description section of the video. At the same time, if you want to see our full line of John Deere gator spreaders ranging from broadcast to drop spreaders, be sure to check out our website www.superior-tech.com or visit your local John Deere dealer today.